Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good day viewers, and today we'll be dealing with a very interesting topic that has to do with rounding off numbers. Now, let's assume that the population of a certain village is 18,279 on a particular day and you are asked that what would you, what do you think the population of that certain village will be in the next one week i'm sure you will not be able to predict that because of course you are not entirely in charge of how the growth of that entire community is but i am sure you'll be able to give an approximate figure to that by saying it will be approximately 18,000. That is exactly what we mean by rounding of numbers. Now, in rounding of numbers, we use certain parameters to round off numbers. And you can see on the board, you have your number line from 0 to 10. 5 being the middle of all the numbers. So the way we round numbers off is that we round some certain numbers down, why we round some certain numbers up. We round down numbers when they are between 0 to 4. So anything between 0 to 4, we call it 0 because 4 is closer to 0 than it is to 9. Mind you, this 10, we usually call it 1. Mind you then, this is 0. So it means that in rounding of numbers, only two numbers exist, 0 and one any number closer to zero we call it zero while any number closer to one we call it one good so then five being in the middle is usually rounded up to one example that i just cited you have a village that is what eighteen thousand two hundred and seventy nine. this number could be rounded down to eighteen thousand right if you are asked to round up to the nearest thousand it is what eighteen thousand but if you want to round up to the nearest hundred, you can see the number is actually 18,300. And here you have a table that shows how to round up the numbers of 630 to 639 to the nearest 10. Now, the number being 630 does not need any form of rounding up because it is already to the nearest 10. Why do we say 10? The first is units. Why this is 10? Why this is 100? Right? So numbers like 631, 632, 633, and 634 should what be rounded down towards 630. Why? Because if you look at these numbers, just like we have in our number line, 4 is closer to 0 than it is to 1. So therefore, these numbers all become 630. Why? 635 is midway or halfway, just as we have 5. I remember I told you that it will be rounded up to 1. So therefore, this number will be rounded up towards 640. And of course, 5 changing to 1 will add up to 3 to give you 640. Then all the numbers from 636 to 600 are already closer to what 640 than it is to 630. Therefore, we call the numbers from 636 to 639, 640. Therefore, this is how I recommend you round up and round down numbers. We are going to see other examples as we proceed in this lesson. As you can see, this certain example that we should give 845.75 to the nearest thousand, hundred, ten, whole number, and tenth. Let us attempt this particular example. Now, the first one says we should make this number 865.75. Seven five. 
we should estimate to the nearest thousand. Now, I've analyzed. Now, look at it here. 865.75. The 8 is under 100. The 6 is under 10. The 5 is under unit. The 7 is called tenth. Tenth. That is 1 over 10. That's mean of tenth. Then 100 means 1 or out of 100. So now, this number does not have anything under 1000. So I put a zero there. Right? So, for us to estimate to the nearest 100, if you look at this number, it's 865. 800 is 800 out of 1,000. So, it is closer to 1,000 than it is to 100. Right? It is more closer to 1,000 than it is to 100. Now, therefore, and you look at this number, 8 is already above 5 in our number line. So you change it to 1, add it to this. This becomes 1. All other numbers become 0. So this number becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, point, point, zero, zero. So this is the nearest 1,000. Then the B part says we should convert to the nearest 100. Now this is 100. So you look at the number after 100. Is it up to 5 or above? Yes. So we change it to 1. Add it to this. So therefore, 865.75 will become what? 9. Then once it becomes 9, every other thing takes 0. 0, 0, point, 0, 0. So this is what? Nearest 100. Then the C part. Nearest 10. So let's write the number again 865.75. Nearest 10, this is 10. The number after 10 is it up to 5 and above. Yes. So you change it to 1, add it to 6. So this becomes 870.00. So this is nearest 10. D, O number. O number means a number that is whole, a number that is complete. And if you look at this number, it's a decimal number. So to say nearest O number, meaning that we need to make, a, or we need to do away with the decimal part. But before you do away with the decimal part, this number is actually 0 0.75, the decimal part. And 0 0.75 is like 75 out of 100. And if you look at that number, 75 out of 100 means it is closer to 100 than it is to 0. So you just change this 7 to 1 and add it to 0, it becomes 1. So therefore, we are changing this from 7, turning it to 1, adding it to this. So this number becomes 865.75 will now become 866, right? 0 0.00. Now, this is what? Whole number. Then, lastly, E. Nearest tenth. Now, this is tenth. Tenth, meaning one tenth. One over tenth. The number of it is five. Convert it to one. Add it to this. So, this becomes 865.75. So, this becomes 865.8. Zero. So this is the nearest end. And with this, we've come to the end of today's class. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. Share this video to your friend and loved one. And together, we'll all enjoy simplified math. Bye for now.